All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's, uh, what, 2.30 in the morning. We're sitting in with uh, Jason, who was on the channel very first ice fishing video this year, and we're going for rainbow smelts inland. So this, these are not sea run rainbow smelts. These are inland and one of those trout ponds here in New Hampshire. Super early in the morning. Let me show you kind of our setup. He's got this really cool spring bobber thing over here. So he's got like a fly reel and then this cool spring steel thing with a <laughs> with a clothespin basically holding the line to see if you know basically a fish bites. We're using Haley style jigs with little chains with a little piece of worm on it and then I have the same setup over here and we're at about 25 feet of water. So I've only done this once in Vermont and we caught a bunch of them and then tried to catch trout in the day and it just didn't work out um, or I missed one and left early. So let's see if we can hammer them. My plan is to either take some of these and use them as chum. I know you guys are probably mad at me for that already. Um, and then the rest I'm going to try to hunt for some rainbows on Winnie with, but we'll see. We shall see. Get him. I saw you drop down on that one. <laughs> That's a big mark, whatever that is. I mean, big compared to your jigs, it's probably a smell. Probably some nice No, yeah, he's right under me, it looks like. But I'm not marking any of that. Maybe I have a surface clutter turned on. Well, the smelts aren't in a really biting mood yet, guys, but we'll see. The Haley jig, they like sometimes bite at the big part of it, not the small part. Yeah. There we there go. There we go, guys. Show me the monster. We got a monster, guys. The first rainbow smelt of the morning. Sweet. And you can use smelt as bait, so what he's doing is legal, which is freaking beyond me, but. Oh yeah, they're getting thicker, guys. They're getting thicker. Ooh. I got a bite. I think. I'm using braid, a tickle stick, and a spring bobber. There's no way I can't feel these fish or see the fish bites. Did you just hit that? Ooh. Oh. I'm like, that's a big fish, and he hit it. <sighs> Freaking chains. <laughs> Yeah. Set him into the stratosphere. Yeah, that's why I set the rod down. You just pull drag over here or what? Uh, uh, drag is super, super light. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. They're a cool looking fish. They got teeth too. I was so shocked that they had teeth when I pulled up my first one. I'm like, what? Yeah, piranha teeth right there. Yeah, I have. Five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, on the screen right now. Hey, let's show the big camera. Come on, hold on. Got him. First one, guys. First one is a beast. Yeah, buddy. I'm an expert. Let me show you guys what they look like. They are a. So you, can you focus now? Come on. A super cool looking fish, shiny, super shiny. They got big eyes and they got freaking razor sharp little teeth in there. He's got his own kind in his mouth right now. And he's on the floor. Hammering them guys, hammering them. They're in thick now for sure. This chick is like, a 30 second of a 30 second of an ounce. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that back on. Get a little chill there for a minute. It usually gets colder right before the sun comes up. Just in a little while, about an hour. Ooh. Oh, slammed it guys. There's still a bunch down below, like 15 feet though. Yeah, that's where I've been. So many fish guys. So those are all, that's the bottom, that's solid red, and that's all fish right there. Bite it, bite it. I'm ready. Oh, I got something big on this. One pop. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong species. Big warm bath though. I mean, not gigantic, but. 
for right up underneath the ice. Suspended horn pout, guys. <laughs> On a Haley jig, chipped with smelt. There's a pair of hemostats. I got it, yeah. I'm like, my line's going like this in the hole. What the hell's going on? My first ever smelt, guys. <laughs> That's probably my biggest horn pout in New Hampshire. I don't go for them at all, so. There we go. Do I have another freaking fish on that? I think I just had a fish on the spring. I do. Oh, oh he was on there and he fell off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're, rock, we're rocking the green light now to see if that will fire them up a little bit more. We are just like absolutely marking a crap ton of fish, but they uh, don't seem to be biting. So I'm at one smelt now and one horn pup. <laughs> this is more irritating than crappy. Mm-hmm. Kind of doing. Got one. Yeah. Well, you cut the time between two and three down, so you should be on a roll now. <laughs> I'm learning. There's another one, guy. Beautiful rainbow smelt. Big eyes. Nice fish, but he got big eyes. Just got to dead stick it like a lot. Oh, he's coming up to it. I'm just gonna set the hook. See if he's there. He's there. Yeah, buddy. I'm hammering him now. Figured it out. Such light biters. Can I have my Wonder Bread back? <laughs> <laughs> Is this glow, do you know? Uh, I think it might. Some of them do. I think there's one red glow and not glow. I think they've stopped up hitting it. Well, maybe they're, maybe what's happening is they up hit the chain and then they hook themselves. Could be. So they're like whacking it. And then hooking themselves. Hammer time, guys. Hammer time. Give me my bait back, you little thief. Hard to show these guys on camera, but that's it. Nope, get another one. Oh, I think I got one on my my other line too. Oh, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. <laughs> There's no good place to put this line when you got it. Look at you doubling up. Double fisting freaking smelt, guys. Oh, there's a fish in there. <laughs> Wonder bread, guys. Wonder bread. They had something going on in the 50s with that color pattern. They didn't know it was going to be good for fish, but apparently it is. There's no way that didn't go off. And it did. I'm handlining a reel, guys. I'm guessing Jason's putting on a Wonder Bread. <laughs> Little teeth in there. Little teeth. They just, they're just super light. I, that's why I've been missing all the fish. Ultra light bite. Ultra light. I can't get more ultra light than an ultra light tickle stick with a spring bobber. Yeah, and like, and it's barely enough. I can only see it. I think the green light helped. Green light helped. Wonder bread helped because. Well, I don't know. The green light has helped that hole. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> They've sh sh shied away from your side. It's by me. <laughs> I know. I just lost all fish off my screen. Gone, guys, gone. Eat it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I think I dropped him. Dropped him, guys, dropped him. 
as soon as I set it back down. <laughs> I don't know if that was that or the, the line went taut. Oh, that one's down there for sure. It's so slightly different than Laker fishing. When they're on there, I still can't feel that they're on there. <laughs> All right, now I'm having fun, guys. We had a bunch of fish come in real quick and they were super active and they bit mine, but not Jason's. Uh, and that's okay, because he's, he's, he's got a few fish already. And now we're just seeing a couple come in here and there. So it is getting more and more light out. If you guys can see out the window a little bit. And Jason says when it sun comes up, they shut right off and they will, you will catch a couple, but not a ton. Nibbling, just a nibbling. That one did not nibble. That one made it. Another one. If we caught half the bites. Oh yeah. We would be 35, 40-ish, I bet. Yeah, for sure. And I only got six. If I had I put that, they didn't want my, well, they kind of wanted the other Haley jig. They just, I wasn't doing it right. Figuring it out, guys. Screaming up to it. Oof. Oh, that's you dropping down. Got him. Yeah, he, was, he was fired up. <laughs> he, was. he came screaming up to mine and then you dropped down. Oh yeah, hammer it. <sighs> Come screaming up to it and then the lightest little boop. <laughs> yeah, it's like... Yeah, I think sea smelting would be fine. Big ones. The bite's not much bigger. Yeah, missed him. <laughs> We're getting ready to go to, go to Myrtle Beach. We go down nice. there for softball in April. Wiggle, wiggle. Oh, I just threw my bait. <coughs> Monsters. All right, it is now seven o'clock in the morning. The sun is up and the bait or the fish, or bait, whatever we're gonna call them. The smelt are completely gone. They are not where we are. So let me show you our haul for the morning. So that's my bucket, pretty big fish. And that's Jason's. And I was on fire there for a little bit. It was like double fisting my house line, which is really cool. And then my tickle stick basically just hammering them. And we we're using basically smelt as bait to tip it on. So if you guys want to see more smelting videos, there's only a, basically a couple, three weeks left, maybe more than that, depending on how much ice stays around in this warm weather. And uh, thanks for watching.